Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the Champions League final preview uh, which I'll do in a similar style as the Europa League final preview. I decided for this one to go with Chelsea like with the Europa League final preview I have more Chelsea jerseys than City jerseys so it was easier to put on uh, a Chelsea shirt and that shows of course the one with the current crest that I have. Okay. Let's get into the final. Uh, the final is this Saturday, 29th of May at uh, 9 in the evening and it was moved kind of a last minute move uh, due to travel restrictions for English teams and slash fans to um, either to Turkey. It was moved to Porto in Portugal, of course. It will be played at the Estadio do Dragon. Uh, I hope I spelled this Dragon. I guess I'm trying to speak Portuguese without having a clue. Um, I know it's a very soft language, uh, which is, in my opinion, one of the nicest looking stadiums uh, in Europe. I would definitely Portugal. I think it's it's a great looking stadium and it was built for Euro 2004. Also, Porto, although not being a huge city, it's the, I think it's the second largest in Portugal, uh, is a very... I've never been there, but it's from all the pictures, it's a very beautiful city where there's not one single building sticking out, but the whole um, composition of the town looks really, really, really nice. Due to COVID, I don't know how much fans will be actually able to enjoy that. Speaking of fans, yes, there will be fans there. 6,000 for each team and then a few uh, extras. Um, uh, one very interesting note is that uh, the owners of Manchester City, for everyone who has a match ticket, they want to uh, pay for flight and accommodation. Uh, whereas Chelsea more or less had to send tickets back because they are really, really expensive at the moment, especially to get there and then to stay there overnight. So yeah, um, not the greatest uh, start and um, yeah. even the one for paying for the flight and accommodation from what I hear not, uh, is that this announcement came actually a little bit late when uh, people already had booked stuff. But yeah, you know. the referee is Antonio Matteo Lajos. Uh, here I can say a little bit more uh, than about Clément Turpin for the Europa League final because I find him a referee who likes the spotlight a little bit. So that is always interesting. He is very communicative. He always has this little smile on it, but he can also. But the, uh, I always think that he likes to. He is. He's, he, he's one of, uh, he wants to be a star referee in a way. That, that's always the feeling. I don't think he's a bad referee, uh, but you know, it can be a little bit great thing seeing him, how he approaches things. I have also seen that on big occasions, he sometimes take him, take, takes himself back and that's what I'm hoping for. Maybe they figure something out. Again, the final is played between two English teams, Manchester City and Chelsea. Um, third all English final. I think the Spanish also had three all Spanish finals, so the two top leagues in Europe now uh, level in that tour, uh, term as well. I mean, when I say top, top leagues over the past two decades, I think it's always uh, the um, uh, La Liga versus the Premier League, who is the more preeminent league with uh, it's a little bit of uh, Tata Gavor back and forth. So that's where we are. So let's see how these teams actually made it to the final. Uh, Manchester City really, really, really impressive, only not winning one single game. And that was against Porto, where they are playing now uh, in the group stage. I think it was the second to us. They already had, had, quali had qualified. So it was um, a rather foregone conclusion. Uh, so Porto 3 1 0 0 against Marseille, 2 3 0 against Olympiacos, 3 0 and 1 0. Then um, it was played twice in Budapest uh, against uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach, two 2-0 two wins, rather easy. Dortmund was a little bit more tricky because uh, you could definitely say that Dortmund matched them in the uh, in Man Manchester and then they really needed to come back. They were the better team all over, but Dortmund really gave them a fight. And so you also thought that against Paris Saint-Germain, uh, it will be similar. PSG played for the first four, 45 minutes in Paris uh, outstandingly, had the 1 0 lead, but on the remaining three halves, Manchester City showed that they are more or less the best team in Europe at this moment and deservedly moved on from it. Uh, as for Chelsea, 
uh, I mean, both teams didn't have the really, really huge opponents to play ag against until later. Uh, Manchester City had to go through two German teams. Chelsea had to go through two, uh, two through three Spanish teams. Sevilla, uh, the nil-nil at home. Uh, forget about it. Um, the four-nil away from home was really, really impressive. I think Giroud scoring at least a hat trick, if if not four, uh, against Kras and that, that. You know, it was an it was not a close game. Uh, it I know it was a close close game, but the four-nil scores uh, uh, scored and just showed how clinically Chelsea was worth the point. Similar stuff came come come said uh, especially how how they got the away win at the end. So, but they won the group rather easily. Uh, they had really and surprisingly. Not much trouble with Atletico Madrid, uh, given that Atleti was the best team in Spain at the point. But this was exactly a time when Atleti was about to drop a little bit. But that was uh, a little bit of a surprise. Then uh, in the quarterfinals, Porto, uh, super clinically, and uh, both games again played in Sevilla. So similar to Budapest, so it was all, never a straightforward road to get to, to, to this final, at least um, when it comes to our organization. The first leg, uh, pretty clean Chelsea's hand. The second leg, they just didn't score, and then Sevilla scores. Uh, Porto, not Sevilla, scores very early. So both teams had to play against Porto. Both uh, won against Porto, and now they will play the final in Porto. So uh, Porto was written all over that one. Maybe I should have put a Porto shirt on for that one. And then the semi-final, I think Chelsea made it much harder against Real Madrid than they needed to. They should have already have done it after the first half. They should have led by three three goals. Uh, they kept uh, Real Madrid alive, and uh, this is where we already can, can, can say that I think Chelsea's biggest weakness in many ways is that uh, they don't score goals. Um, for the match, I actually don't see any player quest question we had for Chelsea. A little bit uh, Mendy, the goalkeeper, and Count Day were uh, worried uh, at least a week, week ago. They all seem to be fit, so we have a really uh, two full-strength squads, which is nice to see. Um, other than that, uh, I mean, the recent results between uh, Manchester City and Chelsea. The last two went in Chelsea's favor. However, one has to say Manchester City didn't play a full-strength squad. They need in the FA Cup semi-final. Where actually, Chelsea not only won but was the better team and uh, you know controlled the game. The one where you know the uh, City could 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 clinch the title and uh, Guardiola really pulling out a uh, formation that we'll definitely not see. Uh, and then uh, Chelsea won it late. Also, doesn't give us too much information, except it maybe gives a little bit of confidence to Chelsea. Yes, we could win against Man Man Manchester City. I think the closest thing to well, where we can say that we might see that, but I'm not even sure about that because that was in January uh, when Manchester City went to Stamford Bridge and completely destroyed Chelsea at that point. But I think this is too long ago. And I'm not 100% even Tuchel was in charge already. And if he was, uh, so it was 3rd of January, he might not, not, not have been. If he was, uh, this was just too early in his reign, so um, cannot really say anything. The one thing I know is that Manchester City has not played the best team against Chelsea, and there's no doubt in, in my mind that Manchester City has overall the better team. Uh, the, I mean, even the bench for Manchester City would probably finish top four uh, in the in the Premier League. Uh, Chelsea has a very good team, but I think that just the depth um, in City is better. However, uh, Chelsea, I think, is one of the few few teams that can hurt City. So um, that is something to watch out for. And yes, the big problem for Chelsea, I said, is scoring goals. For me, it could really go one of two ways that and I and I think the first goal will will be crucial I think for the last five Champions League finals the first goal was crucial uh, and it's usually typically who's, who scores first wins most of the time I think it was, there was only a short period in the mid 2000s where this wasn't the case so also have that in mind uh, yes so uh, and Atletico Madrid against Real Madrid so just a pull up and there. I think the first goal will be crucial. I think if City scores the first goal, um, it might well be a 3 1 score line. And um, I don't think that City will press like crazy, but I think they will try to cause uh, Chelsea problems in midfield. However, then I see if Kante is really, really fit. And, uh, you know, having had a slight injury, um, 
that is for me a, a, a question. If he can dominate mid midfield and um, the defenders can take out the threat from of Gundogan and De Bruyne in many ways, uh, that could swing uh, things in Chelsea's favor. Chelsea, I think, will win a match that is rather slow and cage. I think that the ace will suit Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea well. If City can uh, impose the all passing, quick passing style and then get in from a from, from goal, I think this will favor Manchester City. This is how I can concede. I would not be surprised if this goes to overtime. To, uh, all, all the way to penalties, although I think it will finish in regulation. So, uh, pulling out that. One thing that I also don't know for sure is the jersey matchup. I know now that uh, Chelsea is allowed to play in blue. There was a short period where they would have played in the ugly red jerseys. Glad UEFA decided we have blue against blue, which I think is a first. And I also heard that Chelsea is playing with the 2021 jersey because they lost the FA Cup final and the Women's Champions League final in the other one. So that's a cursed jersey. Will they win it? Let's see. I also think Manchester City will stay with their current uh, shirt, although there are some, I heard some rumors. So, you know, I'm shooting this on a Friday uh, morning might uh, switch around. There are uh, rumors that City uh, could uh, date the day with a new shirt, but I doubt it that he will go for that one. So I think both teams will play in the 2021 season's look, which is something I really, really like. Told you a lot. Let's look at who are the who is the favorite. Well, uh, you can guess it already. It's again the Manchester team. Manchester City, 55% to 45%. Um, I actually gut feeling tell tells me that City should be a little bit higher favorites overall. And yeah, how do I think what is uh, what is my guess for the uh, final? I actually think Manchester City wins it three one. I I'm a little bit a little bit worried about the recent form of Chelsea. So yeah, uh, I would go for Manchester City in that one but you know what well, I'm I'm giving you just because it's fun to do most of the time I'm wrong so just take that in any case let me know how you think that the final will go give me a thumbs up enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel want to see more and I will talk to you soon bye hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get, I get updated whenever something is happening in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!